do it. Okay, it's recording. Hey everyone, this is Joel McDonald with Just Get Out of Town, and I've got Angelina Jones here. Angelina, you want to say hi to everyone? Hey everyone. <laughs> so Angelina is hi. a newbie here. <laughs> brand new subscriber. Um, I, I try to call all of our welcome, all of our new subscribers. We were chatting on the phone, and she had some very good questions that come up all the time. I said, hey, have you got a minute? Let's do a screen share. Let's actually like walk you through the system because we're not a Travelocity, we're not an Expedia. Um, we find the cheapest 1% of trips for you to take advantage of. Um, so I figured what better way than to record the conversation and let her ask questions just like thousands of our subscribers do. And we'll walk through the actual system so that you can kind of see. Um, Angelina is from Indianapolis. You'll have to read between the lines if you're from any of the other 29 areas we serve, but they're all the same, so you should get the idea. So with that said, let's um, hop into the member area. This is the home screen that you get when you log, as soon as you log in, as soon as you sign up and get a welcome email, um, this is a sample of what you would see. Give me a sec, let me get to that. Share screen. Okay, so um, Angelina, now you're seeing um, you, the Indianapolis homepage, a uh, little different than your, your typical Travelocity or Expedia, but again, that's because we cherry pick the cheapest trips that we find, and we look every day because those deals change every day. Um, they change every hour, but we kind of send a summary every 24 hours of the deals we found. So this is your homepage. Um, if you're looking on your computer, this is, you know, I mean, if, if, if you see four trips wide, that's about how many we find in a day. So uh, the biggest thing I, I tell people is like, when you jump in, a lot of times people are like, all right, well, I'm going to Vegas in two weeks. How do I find that? Uh, it's, it's a little late for that. We're about planning ahead and planning around deals that you find. So like when you say, I've got to go to Vegas in two weeks, that's like giving us one dart and saying, hit the bullseye. And that's, that's not how this works. Um, we kind of take 100 darts, throw them all at a dartboard every day, and we tell you which ones hit the bullseye. And then every once in a while you say, well, Miami for $32 sounds good. I'll go there. Um, right. And if you don't see that, you look again the next day, and every once in a while you see something that does work. So that's kind of our philosophy. Um, so with that said, you can kind of narrow down to things you're looking for. But again, the key is to look, you know, don't paint yourself into a corner with, I need to go to Miami for a wedding on September 26th. That, just go to Travelocity. We're not going to be able to help you. Um, but I want to get out of town in the third yeah. week of September. We can totally help you. Um, you might, you know, to get a really, really good deal, you might have to go to a different place than you were expecting, but that's our philosophy. Um, so with that said, Angelina, you had some very good questions about a trip. So let's just look at like the most recent uh, or one of the most recent trips that we found. Let's just say you want to go to Tallahassee, Florida. All right. Um, let's kind of dissect that trip alert because these all have the same format. Um, and every, so every day when you get an email, you'll get the most recent, like tomorrow morning, you'll probably get these plus a couple more that my team will find later tonight. Um, and this is basically like the review of the information that you see in your email. So you can say, oh, that one looks good. Um, and you click on it and you can dig a little deeper. So um, you had a very good question. Let's start with that. You said, well, what's this like September through November? What does that mean? So again, remember, we're cherry picking the cheapest 1% of trips. So mm -hmm. you can't just pick any date, September through November, and expect to find that price. But what that does mean is that at a glance, when you get your email, you know that we have found that price during, at certain times during those months. So if you don't like the sample fare that we send, like you click here and we'll send you to one of the dates that we did find that price. 
you can change okay. the dates and you can uh, what is that around with the dates up and find something in September. Hey, Joel, um, I know we talked about some of the things, but what is that star, that asterisk BB up there? So is that lights of that trip that we found that, so you don't even have to uh, click. Like if that date range is wrong for you, you don't have to waste your time clicking through. So the, when you open your email, it will say Indianapolis, your hometown, to Tallahassee, Florida, from 157. That means we found it as cheap as 157. That's a coach fair. Everything we publish is coach fair. You have the option of op upgrading. We'll get, we'll get to that later. Okay. Um, and then two other little tidbits we give that you can just tell at a glance, September through November, we talked about that. And then star BB, that means it's a business bargain. So we classify business bargains as anything that is at least 50% below normal business class price. Um, 50% below, so business class is typically about triple the cost of coach. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's really two to five times the cost of coach. So basically anytime, you know, it's about 60% discounted, you can get yourself a business class seat for what most people pay for a coach fair. And that way, you know, anytime you see star BB, that means that we've determined that to be a business bargain. So hey, okay. you're able to treat yourself to a nicer flight and still not pay uh, what most people Excellent. pay. I like that option. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's skip down to that. So um, what we, we try to give a couple little tidbits in the beginning of, um, you know, it, just travel tips. Uh, also, um, we'll, we'll just kind of tell you like, this is a fair dump with a few alternate dates available. Sometimes we'll say, we found all sorts of fairs. You can find anything as long as you book it soon. Um, other times we'll say, we only found a couple instances of this fair. You might want to book it really fast. Um, so that's, again, just kind of a, a quick tip so that you know how much time you might want to waste digging deeper into this trip. Okay. Um, maybe to keep us organized, let's just kind of go through these one at a time. Sure. Um, so again, this is just a reminder of this is Indy to Tallahassee. Want to book this trip? Here's a video. I recommend just watching this to kind of orient yourself with our system. If you're comfortable with kayak, if you know how to change dates and you know, you know kind of the basics of, well, you know, you're probably going to get a cheaper trip by leaving Friday morning instead of Friday night, things like that. You can skip it. But this is for the people who always ask, how do I book this trip? Um, same thing with, with this video. This is a video. Um, we very often get the question, I'm not finding the fares that you found. What gives? This answer, that video addresses that. Um, I'll show you right now <laughs> instead. So uh, we break this down into flight options and lodging options. You don't have to do any of these. You can book the trip by itself just for, uh, our default is um, just one person. You can change it to two passengers, six passengers, whatever you want. Um, but everything we do assumes um, one passenger for the flight. It assumes two passengers for lodging. So let's talk about the flight. Um, I think I told you on the phone, everything we send assumes coach fare. Uh, so that subject line that you read will always mean basic economy rate. Um, and you'll know at a glance if it's also really cheap in business class. Right. We look up the basic fare as well as the business class fare, and we'll get to reverse searches later. Um, so Tallahassee, 157, drum roll, let's see if, um, let's make sure this trip is still available. Here's the number one complaint we get. Uh, I didn't find the prices that you said were available. And see this little status bar over here? This is because Kayak is querying, they're doing like thousands of queries, and it can take as long as a minute, as long as two minutes on your cell phone for all of this stuff to load. So notice that only three prices have loaded so far. Now all of a sudden it's started to populate. And there we go, we've got uh, 
one instance of that 157. So yay, I'm not a liar. Um, <laughs> and then plenty of instances where, I mean, it's a rounding error, that same price, 161. Um, and this is, these are the dates that we said. So we said we found that fair at November 7th to November 11th. But if you don't like those dates, you can click here and go on this date. You can click here and go on this date. Um, if you don't like this range of dates, you can go up here and change these dates. So remember in, that email, in the beginning in the email subject, we said, uh, what did we say? Um, August through October, no, I believe. September through December, probably. Oh, I'm looking at Phoenix, I'm sorry. I'm looking at another state, never mind. Um, whatever the case, you know, we, we told you what dates you can find that. So you can go and change this date to whatever dates you're looking for. There's never a guarantee you're gonna get exactly the dates you wanna travel. But again, our philosophy is find the good deals, schedule your trip around them. So what we're telling you is you, you can go and enter a few dates in um, October, November, or December and find these prices. You might have to leave a day earlier than planned. You might have to stay a day longer than planned. But our philosophy is, even if you make a, a couple hundred grand a year, it's often, you know, like if you, it, if, especially if you have like a family of four, it's often worth taking an unpaid day off to save 500 bucks a person on a flight. Absolutely. So um, that's kind of the philosophy. Uh, we never guarantee you're gonna get the exact dates you want or the exact destinations you want, but we do guarantee that you're gonna get out of town by for cheaper than you've ever seen by scheduling your plans around the deals that we find. So does that make sense on like on the note of like finding these fares, playing with the dates? Any any other questions you have along those lines with the flights themselves? Uh, no, I was able when we got off the phone to kind of play around with it and to kind of juggle and see. And I, I do see that on November the 10th for 157 to go down, um, you notice that those dates and times when you can leave for that price is down below. So um, once you kind of navigated me through, you know, click here on the email and and then um, your home, your home screen, and I believe you said the first row is the the most recent um, mm -hmm. update, and row two is like maybe a day old, and row three two days old, and and so so forth. So um, I, I I like it. I like it because I'm one of those people who look for a good deal, right? And I can go anytime, you know? It, yeah, if as long as it's in between those couple of months, if, if I wanna go on whatever day, I, I love it. This works for people like me. Like I don't have a specific time that I need to go. I just want a good deal. And so, like you said, circle around, you know, when you can find the best flight, so. Right, yeah. And I mean, that's our entire philosophy and, and you know, people say, well, I don't have that much flexibility. A, you can adjust the dates of anything we send. B, that's why we try to find 120 to 150 trips a month. So as a subscriber, you can expect to get 120 to 150 opportunities to get out of town per month. Um, and, you know, as long as you're a little bit flexible on when or where you're going to go, there's there are plenty of opportunities to do it for 50 to 90% less than you'd normally spend traveling the old fashioned way. And the old fashioned way is I want to go to Miami November 7th to November 10th. Like you've painted yourself into a corner so tight that it's nearly impossible to, right. to do anything. But right. our, this is like the opposite. Right. This is like, Oh look, Joel hit a bullseye to Cabo for $157. I'll go book that. Um, exactly. And so, yeah, I, I, I'm just... when we talk about rows, just to familiarize everyone, this is your, your homepage. You can always get to, to that by clicking latest deals. Um, and then uh, the further down you scroll, the older these trips are. Please remember, we are not a kayak, a Travelocity with hundreds of, 
programmers who get paid 100 grand a year. We're a small group of about a dozen of us, 10 of whom are analysts who find these deals. We can't stay on top of verifying which ones are available or not. We just tell you about them, we post them to our blog, and you can go take advantage of the ones that you like. Um, but be warned that the further down you scroll, the more likely it's old and sold out. Um, okay. This is just kind of here for your convenience in case you miss a couple emails. You can go here and just see what you missed. Um, okay. And with that said, you know, we categorize things. If you're a beach person, you can look up the beach deals we found. Um, if you, uh, you can play around with that. We don't have to play with all of these, but we have plenty of categories. If you're just looking for a quick trip, you can do this. If you're looking for a longer vacation, you can look for just those. Um, you know, we try to respect your time. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, you know, these 14 day trips, those aren't gonna be your domestic Vegas trips. Um, and likewise, your one to five day trips aren't gonna be to Asia or Australia or Africa. Um, you okay. know, we realize that, you know, you need at least a week if you're gonna go to the other side of the earth. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> and then, and then again, remember, you can always change the date. So just because we send you a 10 day trip, you can shorten it. You know, you just have to, be, you just have to play with the dates just like you always do on kayak when you can't find something you want. You know, you get creative. You look a day earlier. You, maybe you consider a red eye. Maybe you consider an extra layover. Um, this is the exact same thing, except we start from the other end. We start from okay. the best deal we possibly found, and then you can tinker with it from there. Um, go so let, let's go back and just kind of finish the, the, the trip alert itself. Um, so, uh, all deals, let's go back to Florida. So we showed you coach fair. Um, remember how like this, we classified as a business bargain. That's because mm -hmm. we, we've determined that 290 is about a normal fare to, uh, Tallahassee. So that's like, mm -hmm. and would you say that's a fair assessment? Like if you were looking yeah. to go to Florida, that's about what most people would spend traveling the traditional way. Um, and so since business class uh, and, and business class is triple that. So that's like what, 850 bucks. This is 373. Right. That's a business bargain. Um, sometimes we find them for, you know, we find business, a lot of the business class fares we find are cheaper than this price. Um, you know, and that's where, you know, we say you can travel in business class for less than coach. That's how you do it. Um, that's one of the three ways you do it. Um, and so we don't need to click on this fare. It's going to take you to the same thing. But we looked it up here. And that way you could just see at a glance if it would be worth your time to do a little digging for business class. Does that make sense? That does make sense. I'm very interested in the reverse search, though. I didn't, uh, I didn't pay too much attention. Um, the reason why I was looking at Phoenix because I have a little sister and nieces that are in Phoenix and had a great price um, just to go there. And um, so, if I mean, we could have done it with the Tallahassee one um, just to uh, let's, let's see what make the reverse it customized to you. Um, let's see okay. this call. So, um, should still be available. It's only been a day since we found this. Okay. Um, don't, uh, don't shoot me if- uh, I, can, I can say it was available about an hour ago. Okay. <laughs> so I, hopefully it's still there. All right, so we said 58 round trip. You can find this August through October. Um, we click on this. It's gonna take us to one of the dates that we found. Um, and again, like, Notice it takes a while to load. This is the number one thing that comes up. Like, and this isn't our system. This is kayak. Like their, yeah, their, it, their system takes it time. does that too. If, if you're ever on a, a site, you basically have to wait till it finish loads loading and then, you know, you'll see better fares. Right. So. right. Yeah. And these are, these are, I mean, these are very complex queries with lots and lots of lots of different options. Cause it's, I mean, it's, 49 possible dates that you could go. And this is just for a one week period. Mm -hmm. um, so there we go. You can pick all sorts of dates. 
as you can imagine, when, it, when it's this green, when there are this many good deals, you can go and change these dates pretty handily and find something. So again, just because we said it was available in September, if that's too soon for you because of COVID, push it back to October, push it back to November. Um, one of our subscribers who's taken over 50 JGUT trips, he doesn't even pay attention to the dates we say. He just knows that those prices are out there and he goes and, and searches until he finds a date that he can make work. So, um, so Phoenix, this is the Phoenix to, or, or the Indy to Phoenix price. If you want to go visit your sister, great. Uh -huh. If you're busy, um, or if it's sweltering hot in Phoenix and not so bad in Indy, I guess you guys both got it hot in the summer. There's <laughs> yeah. a dry heat, yours is a, a humid heat. But if it's winter um, or, or whatever, and you know, you can do a reverse search. So we always look that up just for your convenience. So if you ever see something where, hey, I know someone in that town, I don't have the time to go there, but hey, I'll fly them out for the weekend. You just click yeah. here. Um, odds are, if it's 58 for Indy to Phoenix, it's going to be 58 or close to that from Phoenix to Indy. Um, and so that's all that is. It's just for your convenience, just so you can quickly look that up. I'm quite proud of this feature. I call it the friends and family feature. Um, and we have countless subscribers who have just flown friends in I for the weekend. I see it. I see it. So there you now, go. One, of the, one other question. And you don't have one to tell her you paid. You don't have to I'm tell sorry. her you paid 58 bucks. You could just say, hey, I'll fly you out. You buy dinners and you'll come out ahead. That's right. That's right. Now, I, I have a, one of the questions that I asked you during our original conversation was um, on the, so you guys are showing the flights and you're showing the deals that you found. And one of the questions I asked, um, because I am a newbie to this site, asking, okay, so you guys found that great. So do I, my next step is to go to kayak myself and, you know, kayak.com and then plug those dates in and I should still see the same information that you guys have already found for us. Correct. So it's like a two, it, it, to, to me, the way I'm understanding it, and please correct me if I'm wrong, because again, I'm new. Um, to me, this is how I'm understanding it. I can come to this site, find a great deal, and then my next step is to go to Kayak and plug those dates in to find the exact same thing, if it's still available, you know, because, you know, flights are grabbed all the time. So if it's still available, um, that I can book on the actual Kayak.com site, not through this site. Correct. We're, we're not travel agents. We're not on commission. We don't have a database of millions of flights. We just tell you about where you can find them. And we use Correct. Kayak because that way all the videos make sense for changing. Okay. Form. Again, Daniel, our, our 50 plus trip traveler, he, he stopped keeping track after 40. Um, <laughs> he doesn't like Kayak. He goes to Google Flights and he said, I mostly okay. find what you say. Sometimes I then have to go to Kayak because for some reason I can't find them on Google Flights. But you can use your preferred search engine. Odds okay. are, if it's there on Kayak, you can find it on Google Flights, Momondo, whatever. We just do this for your convenience because you can actually click a link and go to a sample date that we found that fair. And then, so you don't have to go type in Kayak and start a search from scratch. You can click the link and then customize it to your needs. Okay, so you said we can uh, click the link from here, like, uh, maybe I missed that, because I, I was thinking maybe I had to go to another search engine site and couldn't book from here. I thought I had to book from another site. Well, so um, I could bring up a sample email. Mm, eh. You'll figure it out once you've opened a trip alert, but um, uh -huh. let's see here. Let me get back to the home page. Um, your email will be a lot more straightforward than this. It's just going to have a little intro from me. Sometimes I'll throw a different tip of the day or whatever in, and then um, it'll just have like five of these subjects. Like tomorrow, you're going to see this alert. You're going to see... Um, Brazil, Tallahassee, 
maybe Rhode Island. I don't, I don't know when we published it. And then a couple more that I'm sure my team is going to find tonight. Um, but it's just, you know, you see this text, this information. You can decide if you want to look at it. You will then go to this page. So you, right now you're still on our website. And this right. is where you, you just decide if you want to go to Kayak and check it out. And that's as simple as just clicking this link. So you click here, then you, your, your foot is in the door for that price that we found, and you can tinker with the dates to customize it to your needs. You can tinker with the dates, you can change the number of passengers, you can, oh, you can add a hotel. So all of these are just jumping off points for you to check out from the digging that my team did in the previous 24 hours. Okay, so I guess my question, let me, let me ask it a different way. So my question is, once we find the fares that you guys have um, taken time out to find, uh, is there a way to click or, or book from this site or is it like I understood before, once I find here, I go to book it on whatever search engine that I want. Um, it should still find those deals if they're still available, but I, it is like a two-step process. You guys are doing the groundwork. You're doing the legwork. You're finding the deals. You're putting them out on the um, JGOOC site, and we say, ooh, I like going to Phoenix. I want to go to Phoenix, you know, September the 18th, because that's when I can get it for $58. Then my next step is to go to a site or can I actually book through here? So Kayak is actually a booking engine. They, they will let you, sometimes the flight is available through them. So now I understand your question. So we saw the deal, you liked Phoenix, you clicked the trip alert right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I'm interested in that. You then clicked, you went to Kayak, you're now on Kayak. Um, okay. And let's just say that you like one of these deals. Like if, if, you know, these are all the possible dates. At this point, you're now on kayak. You can do whatever you want. Let's just okay. say you like this trip. You want this one. Um, it just says view deals. And you can see how, um, how it's booked. Sometimes I have a drop down arrow. They're not showing it to me right now. But view deals. Oh, okay. Um, and then you can see, you can book it straight with Frontier. You can book it with Kaya. That's actually more expensive. You can do it with Just Fly. That's actually more expensive. So in this case, Kayak is telling you, here's how you book it for 58 bucks. You go straight to Frontier oh. and book it. Um, Excellent. So that's, that's actually giving you a, um, a, a link directly to the uh, actual carrier where you can just book. So that's, okay, that's a good feature, okay. Yeah, so yeah, you don't, you know, you don't have to go and like reinvent the wheel. We, we get your foot in the door and then you can play with it. On that note, um, there are two different types of deals. Um, so the, you can just book the flight alone. You can change it, again, you're on kayak. We don't need to spend much time on that. If you wanna change it to one way, you're on kayak, you can do that. Change it to multiple passengers, that's easy, excuse me. Um, the other choices we give you is if you wanna just book the flight alone, great. In those cases, we recommend whenever possible to book straight with the airlines, especially with everything going on with COVID. Just book straight with the airlines. You're not cutting us out of any commission. You know, like you're paying us to find the deals. We don't care if you travel once a year or a hundred times a year. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about, I mean, you should do what's best for you book and we usually recommend booking straight with the airline for a couple reasons one um you should always have a loyalty program with the airline even if you don't have any miles you should have register a frequent flyer number so that if they get overbooked if they have to bump passengers uh, you have status even if it's zero status that's still status and you have better odds of staying on that plane um two if you if you do have to change or cancel, it's a lot easier to deal directly with the airline than with a third party like Expedia, Travelocity, Kiwi, et cetera. Um, so when you're just booking the flight, totally just book straight through the airline whenever possible. Now, I mean, if it's gonna be more expensive, sure, take the Travelocity deal um, and save some money. 
And that's, that was that example we saw where they said, in this case, you have to go through Frontier to get that rate. Make sense? Yep, makes okay. perfect sense. Um, so thanks for clarifying. I, I misunderstood your initial question. Now, here's the other cool thing that I think is a, a cool feature of our service is we do the ground, the, the legwork of looking up the Flight Plus Basic Hotel and the Flight Plus Four Star. Now, this is like not Michelin rating four star. This is Travelocity ratings um, or in this case, kayak ratings. So like average user reviews. Um, but, you know, if you're a budget traveler, click here and um, you can get, we tell you about the cheapest trip possible. You can click here if you prefer to travel in a little more comfort. And we just look that up for you. So flight plus basic hotel, 220 bucks for what was it? Five nights. Um, mm -hmm. Flight plus four star from 300. So that way, again, at a glance, you can kind of see what it's going to cost you for flight plus hotel. Um, now, I told you before, book directly with the airlines. If you're going to bundle a flight plus hotel, which I highly recommend, you should bundle it. You should do it through whoever's offering that deal, which is usually Kayak, Expedia, Travelocity, etc. Here's the reason. They know they got your business for the flight. If they don't get your business for the hotel, they're not going to get your business. You're probably going to go to hotels.com or straight to the resort or whatever. So they're going to give away the farm to get your business, to get you to click this link and, and book uh, with, and that way they get a commission on the hotel and the flight and hotels get pay a lot bigger commission. So they have a lot more room to give you a deal. Um, cool. This isn't this isn't a great example because it's domestic, but international deals. I mean, we've had people book deals where it's actually cheaper to book the flight plus hotel than the flight alone. So I would say always look at flight plus hotel price. Um, and then a lot of times, here's a common objection. I said this was going to be a Q and A, but I'm just answering the questions that always come up. So feel free. To <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. But, Another common question I get is people say, oh, well, these are all dumps. I don't want to stay at dumps. So scroll down the list until you see a place that you like. Well, I did see up there too. Um, if you go to the top, you can actually say, I, I, I it, see it says one star. You, yeah, you can yeah. hit the four star mm -hmm. there and it'll go four star and up. Yep. So you have that capability as well. So. Well, and here's the thing. So I, I think our four star price said from 300. That's all we're doing. I mean, yeah. we're looking, we're looking yeah. up those prices so that you don't have to do yeah. this research. Right. Um, right. And that's price and that's uh, flight plus hotel. Right. Okay. Yeah. And it tells you where you're getting it from price line. Okay, cool. Yeah. So again, we're just getting your foot in the door for the cheapest opportunity possible because that's why I started this company. I got tired of all of my friends saying, I wish we could travel like you. And it's like, you can, you just have to schedule your trips around the deals. That's it. That's right. Um, and so everything we do is, is based on the cheapest price possible. But if you are, you know, if you insist on business class, that's fine. We've looked that up for you too. You know, it's going to be more expensive, but it's still going to be a screaming deal. Um, in the same with hotels. So um, that I think is pretty much a navigation of your trip alerts. You know, we've got, Again, just basic flight options, basic lodging options. It's all done at a glance. So before even going to kayak, you kind of have a good idea. You have a you have a thirty thousand foot view of what the possibilities are when you start digging on kayak. Um, okay. If you have so questions, have another, sorry, go ahead. I do have another question. Okay, so I bought in because obviously I like to travel and I like deals. So. Um, I was on another thing where I paid like $59 to do just this. All they did was find deals and you pick a deal and you still had to center it around their deals where they found the deals. So um, this is great. So um, I actually did the year membership and then I added on the, the bonus um, for the 47. Now, what's the difference between the year membership with the app on? What's the benefit of adding that on? I did it because it looked like it's something that I needed to do. 
Um, but since I didn't fully understand, you know, everything about the program, I, I was like, okay, it has a 30 day money back guarantee. As long as I can figure out what it is, you know, seems like it's a great deal. So I like, I like that. But if you could expand on that extra, you know, uh, paying that extra amount, what does that Very give you question. access? Very good question. Let me, let me wrap up this with triple alert. So okay. again, for anyone watching, um, who has similar questions as Angelina, you know, we've tried to answer as many of those questions with these videos right here. So you can watch these videos, how to book it, how to customize all that. So that's, that's going to be a specific video, you know, covering those things. Now on this, you're, you're absolutely right. You have the option of just getting trip alerts, like what we just walked through. Um, or you could do additional point hacking training. So this is where I, I stand behind my ad, the ad that you signed up on. So I said, you can go anywhere you want. Um, you can, you, you're going to pay 50 to 90%. And the catch is you have to, you know, schedule your trips around those deals. Um, a lot of people say, well, it looks like you can get business class. Yeah. Um, about half of those deals are great deals and you, you won't pay more than coach in business class. Um, and again, that's about half of the time. So of that 120, 150 trips that we send, half of those are business class deals. And the more flexible you are, the higher your odds of finding a great business class deal too. The additional training you've got is um, increasing those odds exponentially more. So our whole company, my whole travel philosophy, which is what I built this company on, um, is that my philosophy, it's called the triangle of travel. And, and I'm leading into answering your question. So the triangle of travel is that there are three types of travel. If you want to, there are three aspects of travel. If you want to travel for cheap, there's cheap, there's when you want to go and there's where you want to go. If you want to travel for cheap, you only get to pick two of those. So um, we find all the cheap trips. Those are your daily trip alerts. That's why we say open them every day because they're so cheap, they disappear fast. So just open those every day. And as long as you're flexible on where you want to go, for example, you wanted to go to Cabo, but we found a trip to Cozumel, it's going to be cheaper. So be flexible on where you go. Um, vice versa, you really want to go to Hawaii, all right, we're going to find you a screaming deal, but it's not going to be on the exact dates you want to go. So as long as you're flexible on when you go, it will be a screaming deal. The additional training that you bought is right here. It's this little sweet spot. Sweet spot. So uh, if you want to go for, like I said, if you want to go to Hawaii, where for cheap, you have to be flexible on when you go. Our trip okay. alerts solve that problem. If you want to go somewhere over spring break, no problem. Our trip alerts will solve that problem. We find plenty of spring break deals, but you have to be flexible on, um, or you have to be flexible on where you go. If you wanted to go to Cabo, maybe you go to Cancun or Belize. So that's our trip alerts. The extra, the extra training that you paid for is this little sweet spot right here. This is the only solution that I know of to have all three. And so that's what I call point hacking training. And uh, it basically involves just a little bit of credit card hacking. So you go and you apply for the Chase Sapphire. Mm -hmm. They say, all right, hey, if you try our card out and spend four grand with us over the next three months, we will give you 50,000 points. Now, most people think 50,000 points, great. Like, that'll be a free flight. I flew on a suite for $130 with 53,000 points. So um, this is what I consider the, the, the missing piece to the puzzle if you want to travel cheap every single time. So if you can be flexible, our trip alerts are all you need. If you can't be flexible, if you don't want to be flexible, if you want to travel in luxury a lot more often, that's what point hacking does. So it's a catalyst um, and they're meant to go hand in hand. So our trip alerts are great because you can visit your sister for 58 bucks in Arizona. Uh -huh. That's, that would cost you 40,000 points. 
I'm not wasting forty thousand dollars points when I could go for fifty eight bucks. Use those right. forty thousand points towards a business class lie flat seat when you're flying an eight hour flight. So um, yeah, so like I said, these two are, are what you're paying for with triple alerts. Every single okay. one of them will be treat cheap and as long as you can be flexible on when you go or where you go you'll save 50 to 90 percent by planning around those deals and then this kind of solves the problem for weddings funerals long trips that you want to go in business class um and you know we show you how to spend 30 to 90 minutes a year and collect a hundred thousand points and that can get you anywhere you want to go I've gone, we, we went to a family reunion on 4th of July weekend. Those were $450 flights. We paid 11. Um, we, we've gone to Asia in lie flat business class seats for under $100. And those were $8,000 seats. Joe, I really appreciate you and your wife and, and, and everything that you guys do. I do have a um, orientation to go to, okay. but I really, really, really appreciate this walkthrough. And most companies, you pay your money, you don't, and you ask questions, and you might get a digital, you know, response, and nobody calls you back or, or you know, gets back with you. I, I like the promptness of you and your wife. I mean, I mean, just right there, and then you taking time out to kind of baby step me through this. I really, really appreciate it. It's, I mean. <laughs> it, it, nowadays, you know, people say, hey, just give me your money. This is a great program. You should, you know, read on it. It is a great program and it is uh, excellent. It's a phenomenal program. And you. It took a, <laughs> you took extra time, which makes it even better, you know. So uh, I, I'm, I am going to be referring people. Well, um, thank you very much. One quick, just, just on that note, so Brooke, who, who reads all of our emails, she's not actually my wife. She was a oh, I'm sorry. Um, and this will close out on this. I know you got to go. She was a subscriber on her 10th trip. I, I sent an email saying I was hiring. I needed help staying on top of email. She, on her 10th trip, she got that email and she responded. She's taken 20 JGoot trips. So, you know, the person answering emails is not just someone getting paid minimum wage to send a digital response. She has taken more JGoot trips than me. Um, <laughs> and knows the system inside now. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you've yeah. appreciated that oh, yeah. so far. But for Absolutely. anyone else watching, if you have questions, reply to an email. If you have billing problems, reply to an email. Um, we'll help however we can. If Brooke can't answer answer the problem herself, she'll forward it to me. I'll pick up the phone and call myself. Um, that's Absolutely. how Angelina and I got in touch, and that's why we're doing this yeah. video. And we're here to help. Yeah. Literally within it, 20 minutes from me sending out. So that's very that's very prompt you know so I, I really appreciate that and I am going to um, be putting out my testimony as soon as I book my first trip so awesome just thank check you. those alerts every day I will thank you thank you Angelina have a good day have a good one bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.